My name's Amy. Um, I just graduated from high school. I was accepted to university. But in my spare time, I play piano and I love playing with my animals at home. Anorexia is an eating disorder where um, you don't think about yourself in the best way and you see yourself as bigger than you are, uglier than you are, um, not as what you really look like. And through not eating, you try to control those things. Um, my eating disorder started when I was in grade 11. I was 16 years old. I started taking control of my life through not eating. When I didn't eat, it was me saying I'm winning over everything that was causing problems in my life. So I just avoided it and tried to hide it from everyone. My friends didn't really notice that much because at that point I was already getting withdrawn from everyone. And I tried to spend as many minutes as I could alone. So whenever eating times came around, I would disappear. Things got worse and I stopped eating altogether and the teacher noticed more and more of what was going on. I had sent him an email saying that I wasn't doing well and that I wanted to kill myself. And he decided that was the time to call my mom. You can die from anorexia and many people have. I ended up in the hospital a couple times. Um, I ended up having to finish my grade 11 and grade 12 year in hospital. I went to my family doctor and was referred to the eating disorder team and saw them within a matter of weeks and have been seeing them for two, three years now. A lot of people tell me to just eat, to pick up the food and just eat it, but that's not how it works. I've lost too many friends because of all of this running away from me wasn't the answer. Them learning how to, how to cope with me and how to deal with me is what they should have done. Your parents are there to answer your questions and you can even go to a doctor and ask them. They know, they know stuff about this. Slowly integrating back into the real world is what got me better. Eating for me today is it can still be tough. I have my days. So every week I have to go into the hospital. I am weighed by my eating disorder doctor. You can get over eating disorders. It takes a lot of time and work and commitment. Um, you really have to want to get better. If you don't want it, you're not gonna get better. Anorexia is not a way to make your life better. Like a lot of people, a lot of younger kids look at themselves and say, oh my God, I'm so fat, I need to lose weight. You don't really. Look at yourself in the mirror and look at how much you have accomplished and how much of a good person you are. So my life goal is to go to university and I want to become a psychologist or a psychiatrist. I want to work with kids. I want to work with younger kids and help them through this kind of stuff. In my community, we have started putting on some coffee houses where a lot of us who are still sick go and we read poetry, we play songs. Um, we have some comedians come up who tell jokes. Um, and sometimes we, most of the times, we laugh about our illnesses and it's how we get other people in the community to realize that we may be screwed up but we're still somewhat normal and it's fun. I mean reaching out to other people, normal people and letting them know what we're like and doing that kind of stuff gets them involved and they understand more of what we're going through. Ending stigma to me 
means that an everyday person in the community will accept me for who I am, even after they find out that I'm sick. They won't judge me at all, and they'll just accept me for who I am.